this is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode four of season three of Ascendants of a Book Learner. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Hmm. Well, of course, you can see that. Mm -hmm. mm. Poor baby. It is cold in here, even though I took the air off. So please stop being mean to her. Oh. Nice job, dumbass. Well, you teased her too much. Poor baby. Of course. Oh my god, Sylvester, don't be a fucking ass!
D did we really need to make an entrance like that, sir? Uh. Is that what you're saying for the night? Please, like, please do not that let that fucker sit beside her. I swear to God. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I 
Yeah, heck, I thought he was referring to his own food. Yes, half. Oh my god. No! Is it cheese? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, it wasn't a lot of pizzazz and pizzing, but it was nice. I really hope she doesn't do overdo it. We don't need her to get sick. Why a carriage though? Ah, uh, that's why. Too bad for you. <laughs> oh, just be safe. me when I'm tired as hell. Don't let anything bad happen to her. She baby. now. So what do you want to do now?
Are you serious? Maybe you should put like a force field or something up. I mean, or just, you know, maybe go somewhere else so that she can be protective. I mean, she is protected there, but like, ah. Uh. <gasps> oh. Excuse me. No, that's gonna. Mm -hmm. hmm. The carriage. Yeah, because once she gets like this, there's nothing else we can do, though! You're gonna jump off and go by yourself. Sir, that is reckless. But this is it. What the fuck are you doing? I get that, but like, god damn, he is so fucking reckless, Jesus.
just tired. Damn, we camping out. Damn. All thanks to you. <laughs> but of course it is nasty. <laughs> It had to be that one dude who's after you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poor baby. Uh, can we just talk about how fast this episode kind of went? I mean, mm, but that ending, that ending. Oh God, not even that. Like, okay. So when they got to the noble, the next place that they had to go to, to that noble's place, and how he was like, oh, hey, you're staying here tonight. Like, he is thinking, like, yes, good, yes, I can kidnap this girl. I just got to figure out where the fuck she's sleeping tonight. And then the head priest was like, no, she's, <laughs> we're staying somewhere else. <laughs> you got, you baited. <laughs> Because you, if you could just see the look on his face, he was so fucking pissed. Like, that shit was hilarious. But, uh, thank God nothing happened to her during that kidnapping. Because I would have been so upset if she had, of like, been kidnapped and she didn't know it and she awaked somewhere else. knowing Not knowing where she was, but thank God. But the fact is that both of her kidnappers basically, you know ended their lives so that they wouldn't be like held hostage and possibly even tortured to find out who wanted her and this is that that there it's very similar to like oh my god freaking that one <laughs> that one hydra dude from captain america the first movie where he he took a um he chomped on his teeth and then poison came out and he just you know ended his life because he was like hey you're not gonna know anything from me Oh, God. Poor baby. She gonna have nightmares about this. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so let's talk about Sylvester real quick. I, I got a love-hate relationship with him. He likes to bully mine. I don't like that. That's not cool. He's one of them boys slash men. Um, but there are moments where he, he's a bully and he likes... <sighs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm tired. He likes to be a show-off. He is a show-off type of person where it's like, if we're trying to have a serious moment, he's like, oh, hey, everybody, look at me and look at what the fuck I can do. But when we have really interesting serious moments like we did for Protecting Mime, he is 100% very, like, in it for the long run, whatever. He's going to do everything in his power to save mine. Now, was it a little reckless from him hopping from one freaking creature, flying creature, to another, and then throwing mine over back to the priest? Fuck yeah, that was. She could have fallen. She could have died. So many what ifs, sir. Like, come on now. That's a child. Be responsible. Of the child. She a baby. She's a freaking baby. She's precious baby girl who we all love so much. Like, just as much as I love Anya from Spy Family, I will also kill for mine. I've said this so many freaking times, like in season one and season two of this show. Once again, I would kill for mine. 
mine is Precious Baby, and she deserves the fucking world, and she deserves a happy ending by the end of this damn series. So you know what? She's she gonna get a happy ending. Because, you know, by next week, we're only gonna have five more weeks with this show, which still sucks, because I hate the fact that this is the shortest season out of all three, because I feel like even after when we're done, there is still gonna be more to the picture, as from what some people have told me from episode one or two, and it's like, at the same time, we're on week four, and it's kind of going by very, very quickly. And I don't really like that. And I, I just feel like they're going to abruptly end this show in order for people to go and read the manga, or, or not even the manga, the light novel, to see what else would be in store for her. And if she, you know, when she turns 10, if she gets adopted or if she's going to die. And I don't want to see, like, a really sad ending for mine. I want her to be, you know, happy and healthy and have the best of both worlds but in this even in this economy and in the way this is for her you can't always have the best of both worlds which unfortunately sucks but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode four of season three of ascendance of bookworm if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master swan and of course i will see you guys officially all next monday slash tuesday for episode five bye guys